in her dirt. Russ McNee has lived in his Southwest Great Falls home for 10 years. He answered a Facebook ad for driveway sealing services. He said for $3,000, the company promised three coatings, but only one was applied. Uh, they wanted cash. I had cash, gave it to them, asked for a receipt. They said their receipt, they were out. The receipt book was empty, but they'd, they'd have me one the next day when they were going to come back and do the next coating. And haven't seen them since. I think we just drug a hose over this and it just flakes. Don Petrini paid $800 for similar work, but quickly had his doubts. Potholes and stuff like that, they were supposed to kind of fill them in. The deal that they had on their Facebook page looked good. When he come, he was a fast talker. Sounded like they were going to, you know, stand up to their word. So we got references and stuff, so I kind of took them for granted. Petrini says Western General Contracting was hired to do the work, and he dealt with Barton Gorman. The company business card shows an incomplete address. Our calls to their number were not returned, and a contractor certificate search with the State Labor Department came up empty. He talked a good game. The same was true for BG Seal Coating, the company McNee dealt with. He says they were represented by father and son Bartley and Barton Gorman. He recognized Bartley Gorman's mugshot from the Department of Corrections in North Dakota, where, along with Wyoming, he's been banned from doing contracting work. Emily Nichols is a compliance investigator with the Montana Office of Consumer Protection. She says for customers concerned about contractors, help is available. Someone has had this sort of work done, but the workmanship was shoddy and they're not happy with it and they're having a really tough time getting the, the contractor to agree to come back and make right what they felt was wrong, they can complain to our office. We will reach out to the contractor and attempt to be the go-between. Nichol says the process can be taken a step further. We can get these complaints from affected consumers and usually spot a pattern in the behavior with the with the business or the person purporting to be a business and you know if if the situation calls for it it'll open an investigation and and prosecute or take some form of regulatory action it remains to be seen whether don or russ will get their money back but at the very least they hope others can avoid being taken advantage of in great falls tim mcgonigal mtn news